Hello Linux fans and welcome to another episode of Cool Linux Tools. So my friend Matt Cross had been singing the praises of an ISO burning app called Etcher and I finally gave it a try and sent Matt a message and said Matt you're right Etcher is awesome I love it and uh, if it's okay Matt I want to do a video on it if you weren't planning to and he said sure go ahead so I wanted to share Etcher with you on Cool Linux Tools segment for a couple of reasons. First of all I love the fact that it's an app image. If you go to the website, and I'll put the link in the video notes, if you go to the website, you'll be presented with a large green download for Linux button. Really, the only choice you have is 32-bit or 64-bit, and you'll also see that it's cross-platform. I like apps that are cross-platform because, let's face it, some of you dual boot with Mac or Windows, and to be able to use the same application on any platform is kind of nice. All right, so with that said, you'll choose your 64-bit or 32-bit download, and what you're actually downloading, and was, and one of the reasons I really, really appreciate this app, is that it's an app image. So once the download's complete, you'll go to your downloads folder, and you will find a zip file. So there are multiple ways you can, uh, typically you can right-click the zip file, and you'll have a menu for extract here or extract to. Uh, if you don't, sometimes you'll have to double-click the zip file and it'll actually open up in the compression application that is installed on your distribution and then you can extract from there. It will then extract the app image and you'll pre be presented with the Etcher icon here. So to launch the application, all you have to do is double-click. Now you may get a pop-up asking you if it's okay to run the application uh, through the desktop or something of that nature and you can click yes. You'll see here you'll get a pop-up. Now I've already inserted my 16 gig flash drive and as you see Etcher has picked up on that. You could change that if you have a different location or a different flash drive that you uh, prefer to flash to. So it's very simple. They lay it out for you. One, two, and three. Now again, I really like that it's an app image. That means you don't have to go searching for a PPA or a deb file or an RPM package or anything of that nature. You simply download the zip file as I showed you, extract it, double click it, and it will run pretty much on any Linux distribution. Alright, so let's step through the process here. We're going to select our image. In this case, it's Solus 2017.01.01. That's about a 1 gig ISO image, so we're going to choose that. Next, you just want to double check and make sure you're writing to the correct flash drive. And at this point, you just choose flash. So it's going to ask for your system password. And it'll start the process. Now the thing that I also appreciate about Etcher is its speed. And so we'll just kind of talk about that a minute. My go-to uh, ISO writing tool was SUS Image Writer. And I had great success with that as far as the images burning the way they should. And, um, you know, you can't say that about all ISO burning applications. So there's one that's semi-well known. It's called Unet Booten. My success rate with that was only about 50%. I would say that my success rate with SUS Image Writer was closer to about 97%. So far with Etcher, and I've burnt probably seven or eight ISO images so far, and with Etcher so far, my success rate has been 100%. So time will tell uh, how good it is, but the experience so far has been fantastic. So let's recap. First of all, it's an app image. So it'll install very easily on practically any Linux distribution. Secondly, it's cross-platform. So if you're dual booting into Mac or Windows, you're going to be able to use the same application for burning ISOs from one OS to the other. So I like that feature. And I think you'll appreciate the speed. If you are a distro hopper and you frequently do what we're doing right here in this video, Speed is a good thing in this case as long as it's writing the ISO properly and so far that's been the experience. So hopefully uh, you'll have the same experience if you try Etcher and this 
has certainly become my new go-to for burning ISOs, and so I wanted to share it with you. And thanks to Matt for uh, kind of insisting, hey, Rob, give Etcher a try. I'm really glad that I did, and I hope that you give it a try and have, have excellent results with it as well. So you'll see that quickly. Uh, it is complete. It's all verified. You've got to check some here, and we're good to go. So happy distro hopping, and we will check you later.